welcome. This video is sponsored by Optin Monster, who is your best source for conversion and monetization of your website traffic. And good news for the first 200 people that use the code I'm with JLV and click the link below to get started, you will get 25% off. How awesome is that? Now let's get into the video. So let's get into it. So I wanted to work with my blog post that I did on this uh, because I think it's uh, really helpful to have some visuals here and you can always hop over to my blog post which you can see in the description below. So I'm here in my normal out outfit work uniform uh, enjoying the writer lifestyle. So uh, I just updated this post in June um, and everything is still very uh, relevant here. So let's go ahead um, and clear up what a blog is. So whenever I first started blogging, I thought that a blog was uh, kind of like a diary of your life. Um, now what I do when I blog is I blog about, say something like how to start a blog, and I use references for my life, just like you would in a conversation, to bring the point home. So while you do use your life to some extent, it's, it's not an online diary. <laughs> so a blog, if you wanna make money from it, should be something that you are using to help other people. So for instance, with my blog, uh, I teach a lot on internet marketing, personal development. I've been dabbling in some finance stuff uh, because me and my hubs have been uh, working on paying down debt and uh, decreasing the uh, amount of money that we put out on a monthly basis. I also have some like beauty. So basically anything that I myself would go search for online, I'm creating that here because I know there are a lot of other people just like me that are looking for the information. So let's go ahead and go down through here. So the choosing your niche. So whenever you start a blog, you should decide what you want to write about. And I've seen a lot of things that say that you should only write about one thing um, because it helps people know you for something, right? <laughs> and that makes sense. You know, you see a lot of people uh, out there that you hear their name and you know them for like a certain movie or certain type of movie, right? But for me, it's all about like, who am I talking to? Who am I trying to help? And is this gonna help them along with what I normally talk about? So if you don't wanna be pigeonholed, that might be an approach that you wanna take too. Okay, so let's go here. Niches can be very helpful, especially when you get started. Um, so if there's something that your friends all say like, oh man, you know, you're so great at this and you enjoy it, you might want to consider starting with that first. Okay, and then of course you want to plan your blog content. Uh, when you're getting started, if you can write at least a post a month, that's really important because you're getting people to, uh, you know, know you, know your style of writing, and you're, you're building your readership and your content library. And it also helps with SEO. And uh, we won't get too much into like the keyword research or anything. If you want to see that, you know, check back on the blog post here. But it is really important. Um, you also want to have a really good domain name. You know, so like mine is JessicaLaurenBine.com, and that's how everyone knows me. So it's really easy for them to remember. Um, Jessica and Vine aren't too hard to spell. <laughs> Lauren can be spelled a couple of ways, and I mean, Jessica can as well, but mine's the traditional spelling, so it makes it pretty easy for people. So make it easy for people to remember, easy for people to spell. As If you can get it shorter, shorten it, and um, don't use dashes if you can help it. So you've got your blog, you've got your keywords that you want to target, you've got your content, you know, see who else is writing what, what you've got uh, out there and you know, get some inspiration from them. Um, also, 
when you're starting your blog. Now you're going to need, you don't want to use these free sites um, like WordPress.com. You want to use WordPress.org and self-host it. So uh, I use a hosting platform called Wealthy Affiliate, and they take care of all of my stuff and are really good with tech support. So that's who I've been using. Uh, you get on there. You, it's really easy to set up. You, know, you put your domain connected on there, and then you uh, install the WordPress, which, again, you can come to the blog post and see exactly how to do that. But once you have once you have your blog set up, it's really as simple as that. Don't overcomplicate it and just get started because I can tell you that blogging has opened up so many opportunities for me and I really think everyone that wants to should have a blog because if you talk to people and you tell people about products or services or things like that, and you have a blog post that you can refer them to, and you have an affiliate link there or something like that, that will be able to be another income stream for you. You know, why not Why not have that available? You know, you can, and, I mean, it's just to me, it just makes sense. But I've been doing this for a long time, and it kind of comes second nature to me. Uh, when I got started, it wasn't so easy. So I, I really get that. But just like I learned it, you can learn it too. No matter how technical and tech savvy you are or how much you aren't. So if you want to read more on the blog, I've got it down in the description. And um, get started, guys. Leave a comment below and let me know how it's going. Thanks again and talk to y'all soon. Thanks for watching. This video was sponsored by Optin Monster, where you can convert and monetize your traffic as well as grow your email list. Don't forget the first 200 people that use the coupon code I'm with JLV get 25% off. Click on the link below.